but welcome everybody. This is the official Leo Dex launch party. Um, so right when we went live, I actually hit publish on the blog post that announces Leo Dex. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, it, it's, it's been a really interesting launch. You know, I'd like to like, we, we kind of planned it out that it would all kind of go live at the same time, you know, V109 on Maya would go live, the Leo pool would go live and then Leo Dex would also go live and we'd do it all simultaneously. Uh, what ended up happening was V109 rolled out on Maya like two weeks later than we expected it to. Uh, obviously that wasn't, you know, the worst thing in the world because it gave us a little extra time to make Leo Dex a better UI. So we've, we've made, you know, significant improvements every single extra day that we've had. Uh, I mean, even today there were, I was working all morning on a bunch of updates with the devs and there's been probably about a dozen updates rolled out, like literally this morning um, to fix a bunch of things and add some new features uh, and make things ultimately a little bit more usable. Um, so, you know, I would say every day there's like anywhere from five to 12 things that get uh, pushed to Leo Dex right now. Uh, we're making really fast progress on a bunch of things. So if you if you've used it at all during the you know last week of like kind of closed unannounced, basically it's been like closed unannounced beta uh, on Leo Dex the past week, so that we could kind of get some early feedback and uh, fix a bunch of stuff. So uh, some of you guys have been using it. I think there's probably about a dozen or so, maybe fifteen people that have have been using Leo Dex, you know, here and there. Uh, and giving us feedback on it. And then we did a big uh, bugathon uh, yesterday with a bunch of community members um, who helped us find and fix a bunch of different bugs on the UI. Um, so, you know, it's been kind of like this closed beta in the past week. Like I said, V109 was about two weeks later than we thought it would be. And then when V109 rolled out, it turned out that uh, the pools had to get seeded on day one. So we seeded the pool. You had to seed it with a minimum of like 10,000 cacao. Uh, so we seeded it with the 10,000 cacao. Uh, and then it took another day for them to enable trading on the seeded pools. Uh, and, and this type of stuff wasn't like really discussed or known. Um, so we didn't, we didn't know or, or like we weren't even able to plan for it. Um, so then it took another day. Uh, so it was like seed day one. Then you had to wait a day for trading to get enabled. Then trading got enabled, uh, but once trading was enabled, that was the first time we actually got to test Arbitrum swaps on Leo Dex. Uh, so then it took a couple of days for us to actually go through the process of like testing Arbitrum swaps, seeing how it all worked. And we were actually the first Maya UI, even though we were like unannounced, not yet actually live, we were the first Maya UI to actually integrate Arbitrum swaps. Um, so I think El Dorado integrated Arbitrum swaps a couple of days ago. Uh, maybe three, four days ago. Uh, Cacao Swap I saw just the other day. Um, and the UIs are kind of slowly catching up and, and adding Arbitrum. Uh, but, you know, Leo Dex, we actually got Arbitrum Swaps working on day one uh, when the when the Leo pool went live, obviously, because with our token being on Arbitrum, you know, we wanted to focus on that. So, uh, you know, we got that live pretty quickly. We've been working through the bugs the past week. Uh, so that was that's like the timeline of how this all kind of rolled out is you guys remember last AMA, I kind of secretly gave you guys the URL for Leo Dex and, and just said, you know, play around with it if you want, um, but it's not officially live yet. Um, there's something to be said for being first. <laughs> yeah, for once, we were actually more than on time. We, we were early uh, for once with, with some stuff, uh, but obviously, you know, we have to wait for certain things to happen and we couldn't test the Hive aggregator either. Uh, until the Arbitrum Leo pool was live, because obviously the the end part of the swap requires that that pool is live. So as of right now, uh, Leo Dex has a ton of features that are currently live. There are some that are not live yet. Um, so one of them being uh, various Hive routes are not yet live. Um, so for example, you can sell Hive into every token that's listed on Maya except for Leo, ironically, uh, you can't, you can't go from Hive to Leo on Leo Dex yet. Uh, but you can go from Hive to any other token on Maya, uh, currently. Um, and that is the only Hive route that is live right now. So we're testing it. We actually just, the dev just pinged me that we just pushed a, a fix, uh, for something we found this morning, uh, that was kind of preventing certain Hive swaps. 
uh, from going through. It was related to the fee when you when you go from Hive to Swap.Hive. Uh, so anyways, that's been fixed. Um, and we're going to be focusing on, you know, kind of refining that that route for Hive. And then once that is like fully refined, then we're going to launch the reverse, which will be buying Hive with any assets listed on Maya. Uh, and then once we've got that, then we'll look into doing HPD, uh, SPS, and DEC. Uh, those will get listed on Leo Dex as well through the Hive aggregator that we built. Uh, Taskmaster asks, what about XDeFi? We have XDeFi in the dev environment, but until we're until we swap with every like, this is the crazy thing about this type of technology is like when we build something for this, we have to actually test every single variant of it. So uh, we've got XDeFi, and now we have to test every single swap and every single pool action with all the different tokens uh, before I'm comfortable pushing it to um, you know the live UI for you guys to start you know kind of like open testing with XDeFi. So I would say XD5 probably by sometime next week, uh, hopefully sooner. Um, you know, I said last AMA that we would have it like by the end of the day. And we actually did get it done by the end of the day. But like I said, I I, I want to see some some pretty hardcore testing of it before we give it to you guys.